So, hey everybody, it's Chris from Microsoft here. Um, I'm going to talk to you quick, quickly today about a uh, little issue I was having with getting my phone up to date. I've got a Nokia Lumia 900, and uh, this little 900 has been working pretty good for me. I'd love to get the 920, but uh, not ready for my contract uh, to upgrade at the present time. So, not quite ready for that. So, I thought, well, hey, I want to go ahead and get this new 8. Uh, or 7.8 update, but it still hasn't come in, and now it's March, and it's been many, many weeks, and I still haven't gotten my update. And I didn't want to go do th that thing where you have to go through and, and force an update into the phone, which might brick the phone, and so what I wanted to do was actually pick up the update legitimately, but mine keeps saying, as you can show, as you can see from the Zoom software, that the, the thing is still showing that the phone is up to date. And it's not, because it's at 87, 83. Actually, it was even lower than that. I didn't realize I'd missed another update, but for some reason my phone just was not picking that up. Kind of funky stuff going on there. So, looked around, found a couple of people, given some advice out about how to force an update to the phone without actually having to go through any kind of um, unapproved manufacturer routes. So, with using Zoom, just make, uh, you know, push yourself uh, to the front of the update line. So the the way that we do that is is uh, we come over here and we're we're going to switch the <coughs> excuse me we're going to first off make sure that we actually see the the current update status on the phone uh, is not at the at the final build the final build which will be the um, let, me, let me find the little number here. What we're looking for is 88.58. So we're at uh, less than that, and if you are as well, here's kind of the trick that we're going to do. This takes a few times, takes a little bit of patience, and I'm not, again, the most patient of, of people by any, any means whatsoever. Uh, so getting uh, my desktop cleared off here just a little bit. The process that we're going to go through is we're going to fool Zune into updating the phone. And nothing we're going to do here is against the rules. I talked to some of my colleagues to make sure this wasn't some hack. It is not officially a hack. In fact, some of the people at the Windows or the uh, Microsoft stores will do this for you if you walk in. Uh, I've been told that most of them will not, but a few of them will, and that's one of the reasons this is here. I think it's also so the developers can force their phones into the front of the line uh, for updates rather than just waiting for it to roll out. Theoretically, if I would have the patience to wait until the end of this month, maybe I would have gotten it anyway, but... Uh, uh, didn't have that kind of patience. So, all right. So what we're what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change tabs, and then we're going to run over and and quickly disable the Wi-Fi adapter. So I'm gonna jump back over to update, and just as it's starting to check for the updates, I'm going to run my mouse over, and I'm gonna right click and try to disable this thing in in time. So you got to do it quick. And did I do it quick enough this time? Wi-Fi adapter is disabled. Oop, can't check for updates right now. Sometimes if you wait like about 30 seconds after enabling the adapter, uh, this will just go ahead and switch screens to update is found. I'm going to give it a few seconds here and see if that happens. Um, the last time I did this on, this on this update process, again, it took me about six or eight tries before I could get it. It finally actually didn't do the automatic 30 seconds. However, reading on the forums, a few people have uh, had some success with just letting it sit at this screen. Um, you might want to might want to consider going that route, but yeah, we'll see what's uh, going to happen here. I'll give it just a few seconds and see if maybe we'll get lucky and uh, get that to pull in. Incidentally, I am looking forward to the Windows Phone 8 uh, operating system and the new full-screen Windows Phone. Uh, connector utility. Alright, so try it again. We're going to click update and we're going to disable that wireless adapter at the exact same time. Just try it a few times until we get it just right. Alright, so clicking for updates and real quick, let's disable the sucker. Didn't work. Enable the adapter. Run over here. Swipity swap see if I can get it to happen quick enough. 
and success. An update is available for your phone. Look at that magic right there. 8858 is the listed update. That's where we want to be. We want to get to um, that because now I can resize the icons on the desktop. I uh, should have a list of updates uh, that are available. This takes a couple of seconds. I just reconnected it to the internet and thus it's going to have uh, a couple of uh, pieces of information to kind of pull down from the web. Once we get the update list, should be several different background colors that, that I didn't have before, and it's going to have, uh, most importantly, again, the the resize of the home tile so I can get a little bit more. There they go. Uh, yeah, improved lock screen performance and a uh, whole lot of other little neat, cool stuff. So I click Update Now, and it'll start this process. And I will run through a few updates. I think the... The last one took about 10 minutes overall and two up, uh, two reboots, and it was all said and done. Uh, so anyway, this has been Chris for Microsoft, and I appreciate you guys uh, jumping in and taking a quick little look at my video. If this has been helpful for you, as always, please give me a quick little uh, uh, link for a like in my YouTube video. And if you'd like to visit my blog. It is 9z.com, just the number 9 followed by the letter z, uh, .com, and that'll get you to my links for my uh, Facebook and my, my LinkedIn and uh, YouTube channel and everything like that. Uh, and as a Microsoft employee, I also have to say, as always, that this is not an official plan of record. This is a personal project video and not an official Microsoft video, uh, just something that I do for me. And uh, thanks again for listening in. Have a great day.